All right, hello everyone. It's Team Rocket Dross here with another Pokemon drawing tutorial. And um, for this video, guys, we're gonna do be doing another request from you guys. We're gonna be drawing Weavile. So as you guys see on screen, this is how he ends up looking like. So if you guys want to learn how to draw him, then let's get started. I'm also gonna put up a reference right now on screen that was easier for you guys to draw. And at the same time, you guys get all your details. Uh, so just keep in mind guys that he's not gonna end up looking like the reference 100% But we do end up getting pretty close and another thing don't press too hard on your paper That way you guys could erase uh, some of these lines since we are gonna start by doing a sketch And I got this image on um, Bing images guys from somebody in DeviantR so it's fan made It was pretty cool so I decided to choose this reference Alright guys so first of all we're gonna start by that line going straight across And now we're gonna do this uh, line a little bit to the right of the of the corner now we're gonna connect it on this side and almost make like this upside down shark fin and now we could just extend this one down here and depending where you guys stopped at the top uh, you guys could just either connect it or just as long as it's a, it's, it's a smooth line and you guys get the shape, uh, you guys could connect it any place. Alright guys, so this is going to be basically the face, the head. So try to get this shape as close as you can. It might take you guys a couple of tries. Now that we have that a little bit to the right, we're going to start off by doing uh, this line for the body. Curve it a little bit. And I actually end up making it a little bit longer than the reference, so he ends up being a little bit longer overall. Uh, but it's still alright, it's not like a big, a big thing. There we go, so this is basically his back. And the bottom is, is curved, but it's almost a straight line, it's pretty flat. It's a pretty flat curve, if that makes sense. So if you guys want to make it a little bit smaller than you guys can. Alright, so now that we have that, we're going to do this reference line right at the bottom just to uh, help us know where to do the feet. Now we're going to do this oval shape right here, which is going to be basically his knee. We're going to go straight down. Same thing on this side. then around here we're just gonna connect this and do this line once again guys these are reference shapes so don't press that hard uh, that way we could erase them later on all right so now we're gonna do a reference line going on the side of his head and this line is just to help us do his other leg so it doesn't go further than that and it gets pretty close to the actual um, bottom line that we did and just try to make this one almost the same thickness as the other leg on the other side. It's a little bit thinner, I gotta say, but you guys can make it even. So now the bottom here, we're just gonna extend this one. Alright, so now we got the basic shape. Right now I'm just looking at the reference on my tablet. So now that we have that, this middle line that we did earlier, we're going to extend it. And we're going to start by doing those uh, spikes that he has on top of his head. So we're going to do this one. Not as high as the one that we just did. And then around the middle, we're just going to do the line too. And now this one, and this one's a little bit curved, guys. It's not like a straight line. Also this one. So that, that one with the line going up is basically the middle. So now around here, a little bit to the left of the edge. This one should be the same level as the other one on the other side, the first one. The middle one should be the biggest. We could just connect those. All right, so we basically got our hairline, I guess. All right, so now around here, we're gonna do this straight line. 
once again this might take you guys a couple of tries once you start doing the eyes and now we're just gonna connect it to the one that we did earlier so just leave enough space um, on the bottom of that shape guys to do the eyes and the mouth so now around here we're gonna do one of his arms and I make my arms a little bit smaller than the reference right there I just did a reference line going across uh, his bottom just so I can know basically where it goes up to curve this one and then we could just connect it so right here I was just pointing out that it should roughly be the same thickness as uh, his leg now for the other one it's gonna start around here and basically it goes up to the same line as the one that this one of the spikes now we could just connect it once again just try to make it the same thickness as the other one and now we're just gonna do his arm so on the reference is pretty big so since I was basically running out of paper I made it a little bit smaller but it still came out okay so just try to get the shape it gets a little bit wider as it as it ends all right so now we're gonna do that oval shape that he has on his forehead so I gotta say uh, about that far from that line that we did earlier and just do the oval shape right here I ended up making it a little bit bigger um, than the references, but it's still okay, guys. It doesn't have to be perfect. All right, so now for the mouth. He's basically a cat, so we're just going to do this, like, cat shape. And now his mouth, bottom. And now we can do his tooth, I believe I do now. So now for his uh, hair, I guess, we're gonna extend this line. We're almost gonna follow the same um, angle as his face and the one spike. And then this one. So this one is not the same angle as the references. I didn't notice that till I, I put the, the reference next to my drawing. And then right here for the top. This is probably one of the parts that I had the most trouble with. Just trying to get uh, this part of his hair done. Just the shape and everything. I had to do it a couple of tries. A couple of times. So just looking at the reference, I noticed that basically from that spike on the other side um, to the top is basically the same distance uh, from the bottom to the other side, like I pointed it out. But for some reason, I just couldn't get the right curve. So I think it came out pretty good right here. And I might have made it a little bit longer than the reference, but like I said, guys, it's all right. It doesn't have to be perfect. As long as it looks like Weavile, then you guys can make any changes to your drawing and the funny thing is that guys that once i do the final outline with uh, my pen for the top of his head uh the hair i make it more straight like i don't curve it as much as i have it here but it still looks all right so now just erase some of those reference lines that way it's not a little uh, too confusing right now i'm just looking at my reference on my tablet all right so around here we're gonna do I guess his tail so this is basically like the shape of a leaf and I might have made it a little bit smaller than the reference has it but like I said it's all right and then he has a, a thinner one on this side Don't forget guys to leave a like if you're 
um, drawing Weavile so far. All right, so now for his collar. Got to say around here. He has this like uh, spike coming out. His collar right here. And now we could erase the inside. That way it's not that confusing. Yes, a line right there on the collar. Alright, so now for his foot. Just curve it a little bit and just do it up to that line that we did earlier. And then it's basically straight and it goes as far as the knee and it just curves back up. Alright, so right now I'm just working on the shape of this foot. Small line right there and then the knee at the top. Alright, so right here I just do these small details that he has on the oval shape on his forehead. He has like three lines. And now for the eyes. So the eyes start around here, pretty close to the mouth almost. And they're basically uh, half oval shapes. Now on this one, just try to start it off on the same um, level as the other one. A little bit. Obviously, it's a little bit smaller. I'm surprised I got it the first try. So now he has another oval shape or half of an oval shape for his eye. And it's more to the right. This one is all the way to the corner. And just try to make them like similar size. Just the other one on the other side a little bit smaller. And he has basically like a really thin oval shape right in the middle. And then he has like these eyelashes sticking out. And then we add one of the teeth. He has like really big teeth in the corner. And then just a smaller one that goes actually to the bottom of his mouth. Uh, the biggest one actually goes to the bottom of his face. And then around here, he has that spike that I was talking about earlier. And looking at the reference, I didn't place it exactly on the right spot. But like I said, as long as it looks okay, then we could always uh, put it anywhere. As long as it doesn't, it's not off by too much. And then we could just erase some of those lines. That way it's not that confusing. So I, right here I'm just curving the, that triangle shape or that spike a little bit. And then on this side he has another one sticking out from the top of his, uh, the line that we did for the eye and then the top line. Another one sticking out which is the bottom one. And then he has one of his ears. Alright, so now for this side, I actually make it a little bit too high. I do change it in just a little bit. I didn't like the shape of it. It was because if you guys look at the reference, um, the top part, they basically line up like where they start. And right here, the right one, I did it way higher than uh, the left one is. So I do redo it in just a little bit. This is where I noticed. And I'm pointing out basically where it should be or where it should start. Just so it can make sense a little bit. That way it's not too off, you know. Because sometimes uh, having stuff like that a little bit off just completely throws off the whole drawing. And how many times did I say off right there? <laughs> So now that I have that guys, we can start erasing these reference lines that we did earlier. The same thing for the down the face and the ones that we did for the eyes. And I do end up making that 
ear a little bit smaller on my final drawing that's the only change that I do make for my final drawing is the the right ear. I just shortened it up a little bit just because it was too long. It was just throwing me off too much, you know. It, it was getting my attention too much. So I do end up making it a little bit smaller. So that's something that you guys might want to do now. Or if it looks okay in yours, then you guys can leave it any way that you guys did it. But I do change it just to... Just letting you guys know. It's too long. All right, so now for these, for the hair strands or whatever you want to call it. Just look at the reference, guys, where it basically starts. And um, that's why I have it up there. It just makes it a little bit easier if you guys know what we're doing before we do it. So this is like the bottom of his arm. And we're almost done. We we could pretty much see we bio right now. Once again guys, if you guys haven't uh, left the like, uh, leave a like right now. Um, let me know how far it's going. If you guys are drawing him, let me know in the comment section. Uh, that way I know how many people are actually trying to draw them. So let me know how it's going so far. And and yeah, alright. So now for this side, we're going to do one of his claws. So it's basically a triangle shape up to there. And then the other one starts around here. And then the last one basically lines up with the top. So we can just connect it. And now just extend the line a little bit. Same thing on the top. And now he has this like where this like zigzag line where the claws uh, separate from his arm. I think I changed that later on. I make it a little bit closer to that line that's on top of it. This one that I'm erasing. I think later on either that or I erase uh, some of that line from the claws. Like just make them a little bit shorter than what's in the inside of the claw. But it still looks okay, guys. It's not a big deal. All right, so now for the claws on this side, we're just going to connect it like this. Make this triangle shape. And just extend that line. And then on this side, we could only see one of them. So we're just going to continue this line and just connect it to around there. A little bit higher than the, the first one that we did. And now we could do the same thing where we split off the claw from the hand. So this is where I noticed that on this side, the claw was a lot bigger um, than the one on the other side. Yeah, so this is where I check, guys. So I just make it a little bit closer to the claw just so I could keep them uh, similar, you know, in size. And by claw, I mean like the white silver area uh, with the like blue purple color, you know, where it splits off the... The amount of white compared to on each side. Alright, so right here I just erased part of that knee just so we can make it see a little bit more clear and try to get the left side of that uh, leg a little bit better. And then I noticed he has a small detail right there for his brow. And then I also forgot this line for his ear. Fun fact, guys, uh, before I started doing this drawing, I never knew that Weebio had ears. I always thought he just had the hair like that. All right, so now for his nose on this side. Small. It's basically in the middle line that we did earlier. Here I'm just working on that hand. And we're basically done, guys. The only thing we need to do now is just erase some lines that uh, are not connected. For example, that one and the and his uh, claws on his feet so maybe you guys can see now what I was uh, talking about earlier where 
mine he's a little bit like longer and on the reference he's a little bit shorter like he's he's closer to the ground on mine he's a little bit higher all right so for his claws guys we're gonna do one right there that middle line going down the middle of this triangle shape another one on this side and just try to make these the same size and then the other one on this side so he basically has three uh, once again all three should basically be the same size all right so now for this side I had a little bit more trouble on this side just because uh, the shape was a little bit awkward for me and they're basically like cone shapes on on their side and then I just connect the other one on this side and then uh, the third one we could barely see it so we could just barely add it around there And what I meant about awkward shape or I was just having trouble was just the back of his foot right here. Like the shape of it was just throwing me off for some reason. Like I understand uh, the way it looks because it's basically the bottom of his um, feet. But at the same time it was just really awkward and it just didn't look right for me. But in the end I just left it uh, like that. Alright so I just erased some of those reference lines guys. That way and, and we basically got his foot done. So we're pretty much done guys from here on. I don't think I, I missed anything else other than just uh, looking at your at your sketch and um, so I erased this line like I said before there's some lines that don't connect uh, so I would look at the reference just in case I miss anything or didn't do it right uh, where lines connect or and where they don't or any small details that I might have missed. Um, I recommend that you guys just go over your uh, sketch with the reference and just compare it and just try to make any changes to yours. Uh, for example, right here I'm just adding small details like for example on top of that eye. Um, it's a little bit longer on the side and then this oval shape I made a little bit bigger. I could have made it a lot thinner. Uh, that's one of those things that looking at it now. Uh, but it's just a small, small detail. And then right there I noticed that this spike doesn't connect so I erased that line. So I'm just basically doing guys what um, I'm letting you guys know right now. Just go over your uh, drawing with the, with the reference and just make those changes that you guys need to. And just go over your drawing and if something doesn't look right now, now is the best time to change it. And I end up outlining it in my markers. Like I said before, the top, uh, his right ear, I made it a little bit smaller. If you guys pay close attention, you guys might still be able to see where it used to be. And like I said before, the top of his hair, I ended up making it a little bit shorter than uh, I had it on my sketch. And right now, it's, it's basically like a flat top, and on the reference, it's curved a lot. And unfortunately, guys, I didn't have the right color for him like for his body so i used the closest color which was this like really dark blue and it just doesn't look anything like we vile guys i'm really sorry um hopefully you guys could do a color him better uh but i just used what i had and then i used two different reds like a darker one and then uh, i guess like a regular red and then just try to uh, uh, blend those two together and just combine them and since he was looking too dark, it was really hard to disting distinguish some of his features. I ended up just going over with the same blue once uh, uh, the like color of the body dried. I just went over like the shadows just so I could give it a little bit more. Um, that way it's not just like all really dark. It's really hard to tell some of the features apart. Uh, like for example, his face. Like you guys could barely see his nose, uh, his mouth. You know, it's just... It's just really dark guys and in the end I wasn't even going to show this part but I you know it's just I, I colored it this way and I just want to show you guys how it turned out um, and comparing it with the difference with the reference there's a big difference but if you guys just look at my drawing and not pay attention to the reference just look at it um, you guys wouldn't think there was obviously it's a little bit dark. Uh, but it still looks like Weavile. Still looks pretty cool, you know. But once you compare with the def uh, with the reference, since it's really light, then obviously there's like a big, big difference, and uh, it's easy to point out and everything like that. But I still think it came out okay. Although, like I said, it's still a little bit too dark. Um, and then also the orb on his forehead. I think I 
I moved that to the side or something because uh, on the reference is basically right on the side on the right side of his left eye and on mine is right over the left eye so that's that's kind of throwing me off right now I don't remember having it like that on the reference on my sketch uh, so that's something that if you guys are uh, doing your sketch right now you guys might want to pay attention to um, that's why I do this guys where I would go over my the way I colored him and then stuff that I I could I would have changed now that if I could have you know so hopefully like all this that I'm telling you guys helps you out just making your drawing a little bit better um, and then for his claws, I just used a really light gray and just did that. Uh, and I just used the same reds for his eyes, color, and his tail. The same thing for his ears. And then I just went over it once I colored like um, everything with the fine tip sharpie since it's a little bit thicker than the pens that I was using at the beginning to outline him. So I just wanted to give like a dark outline that way you guys could tell uh, most of those features apart but it's still really dark guys. I'm really so uh, sorry that it didn't turn out that good at the end but this was just a revile tutorial on how to draw him not color him so um, give me a thumbs up guys you know I tried I tried my best and I'm not afraid to show my mistakes or stuff that I didn't do right um, I actually like to put it on here that way I could explain what I did wrong and hopefully you guys don't uh, do the same thing you know so leave a like let me know in the comment section what you guys thought of this tutorial uh, let me know if you guys ended up drawing Weavile how it turned out you know uh, you guys could always send them in any of your drawings to uh, be featured at the beginning of my videos you guys could send them on my Twitter uh, the link will be in the description and also my email I also have uh, Pokemon Amino and my Facebook but my Facebook I don't use it it's just for this channel but I never go on it so I recommend you guys don't send anything on there uh, do it on my Twitter I think it's the best uh, way to um, uh, send them to me and yeah guys so I just want to thank you guys for watching and I guess we'll just catch you guys on the next video Team Rocket Draws out